हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अफेयर्स क्लाउड माय नेम इज विकास सो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव एन एप्लीकेशन बाय द नेम कैरियर्स क्लाउड विच यू कैन गो एंड डाउनलोड थ्रू द प्ले स्टोर एंड वंस यू हैव डाउनलोडेड यू कैन लॉग इन विद योर जीमेल आईडी एंड व्हाई आई एम सजेस्टिंग यू दिस एप्लीकेशन बिकॉज दिस इज द वन स्टॉप सोल्यूशन फॉर ऑल द करंट अफेयर दिस इज द बेस्ट ऑफ द बेस्ट एप्लीकेशन एंड द प्लेटफॉर्म वेर यू कैन एनहेंस योर लर्निंग थ्रू हेल्प here you will be provided with multiple courses here you will be provided with multiple options of quizzes and even you here you will be provided current affairs on daily basis pdfs and quizzes will be provided to you on daily basis both in hindi as well as english here you will be provided current affairs with weekly basis and monthly basis also here remember once you have done watching our video then you can log in through this application take out the pdf read that pdf and go through the quizzes that will enhance your preparation same you have to do for weekly and same you have to do for the monthly also in monthly you will be provided with the top 100 important questions pdf and video also that will enhance your learning and it will be a very benefit and beneficial and important video for the revision perspective and not just this friends apart from this we also provide you banking and economic questions we provide you state current affairs such as of uttarakhand up tripura telangana and many more not just this apart from this we also provide you topic wise current affairs and the topics that we are providing you are really important these topics are such as national affairs international affairs important days sports defense science and technology apps and web portals obviously these are the important topics that are being asked in various exams across india so these are the topics that are must and should be covered and will be beneficial for the preparation of the students so such friends i'll highly suggest you to watch our video as they will be very beneficial for you in the long hello everyone how are you all i hope you are all good so students in this video we will be discussing important current affairs of 20th of may the session will be very important so do pay attention till the end let's start first is national affairs and the first news is prime minister narendra modi has laid the foundation stone and inaugurated railway projects worth 8000 crore rupees in the state of odisha i repeat prime minister narendra modi laid the foundation stone and dedicated to nation several railway projects worth more than 8000 crore rupees in odisha through video conferencing during the event during this video conferencing pm modi flagged off vande bharat express train that was between puri and havra and these between puri is in odisha and havra is in west bengal so between these two locations vande bharat express was uh, vande bharat express was leg off second thing he also laid the foundation stone for the redevelopment of puri and katak railway stations let me show you here itself that first was pm modi flagged off the vande bharat express between puri and havra that is between odisha and west bengal second was he also laid the foundation stone for the redevelopment of puri and katak railway station third the pm dedicated 100% electrification of the rail network in odisha which will reduce the operating and maintenance cost and reduce the reliance on imported crude oil he also dedicated other railway projects including doubling of the sambalpur titlagad rail line new broad gauge rail line between angul and sukinda third line connecting monoharpur raukela and new broad gauge line between bichpauli and jharthar bha correct so these are some of the other projects related to railway that were inaugurated but recently and you can remember these three these three are just important here right next how the question will be from from this location will be asked that vande bharat express train in puri will be connecting to west bengal from which location to which location from puri in odisha to howrah in west bengal right next ministry of port shipping and waterways and assam state signed an mou for riverine based tourism circuit so it will be a tourism circuit that means it will be attracting various tourists from different states or even different countries as 
it is a river in tourism that means it will be based on a river what is the name of the river here bangladesh correct so remember it was the ministry of port shipping and waterways along with assam state they signed an mou for this for the riverine based tourism circuit where this tourism will be uh, this circuit will be this will be on which river it will be on bangladesh river and it will be located where or location it will be in the assam administrative staff college that is in guwahati right then this project is being developed under the sagarmala program that will connect seven historic cities correct i repeat this project this riverine based tourism circuit is being developed under sagarmala program that will be connecting seven historic sites correct the cost of the project is being estimated under 40 to 45 crore rupees right this riverine based tourism circuit will have facilitate modern ferry service right the circuit will sail from hanuman ghat and will complete its journey by covering several temple or sites through waterways correct who is the chief minister of assam himanta biswa sharma then remember in assam only first pure hydrogen making plant was set up it was set up in zorhat and it was set up by whom it was set up by oil india limited and who is the governor here of assam state he will be gulab chand kataria moving on next question india along with which country will jointly develop center of water technology at iit madras i repeat india along with which country along with israel will develop a center of water technology at iit madras right through this india has signed a letter of intent that is loi with israel government so that they will be working together to build a is india israel center of water technology in water resource management and water technologies at iit madras right this cowt that is center of water technology basically aims to build human capacity to ensure the implementation of the best technologies of israel in a tailor made context for the indian requirement the center will help the ministry of housing and urban affairs to develop its atal mission for rejuvenation and urban transformation that is amrit right this mission is for attaining its overall targets in collaboration with the agencies and basically they will be providing their technology and india will be utilizing it doing research on it in the iit madras campus and this will develop a center of water technology how can we cure water how can we purify water how can we provide better water or better quality of water to different populations all right and we know that water is limited right water if we want to make proper use of water then we need to find various ways in order to reuse water recycle water and that reused and recycled water should be contamination free it should be germs free and for the same reason only this center of water technology is being set up at iit madras with the help of india and israel right here the main focus will be on building the internet of things and artificial intelligence based solution for water harvesting and smart data management with the objective of demonstrating the most advanced technologies in the respective field correct next here you can see it is israel and india that partner to establish center of water technology at iit madras next where was the sagar prakarma yatra phase 5 launched so the phase 5 of sagar prakarma the phase 5 of the sagar prakarma was recently launched by whom it was launched where these two question can be asked or it was launched by which ministry also those so these three question so if the name of the person is asked prushottam rupala ji name of the ministry ministry of fisheries animal husbandry and dairying 
and the location where was this launched the phase 5 it was launched at raigad that is in maharashtra correct so the name of the state is asked here it is launched in maharashtra correct the aim here is to resolve the issue of fishermen and stakeholders to and ensure their economic upliftment correct this sagar prakarma was commenced on 7th of may in raigad maharashtra and it will end on 19th of may in goa correct so it is basically for the upliftment and to help the fishermen and ensure their sector develops so for the same this sagar prakarma yatra phase 5 was launched correct next next is international affairs ubi global ubi global has recently ranked kerala startup mission as the world's number one public business incubator now what is an incubator incubator is basically an a place where startups gets all the requirements or they basically a startup is started right they will provide you office they will provide you space for working they will provide you all the necessary requirements be uh, be it any technology be it any workforce so everything will be provided by the incubators right they will be helping those early startups small startups to grow if you remember a similar kind of an incubator was set up that was technology hub 2.0 this was set up in telangana hyderabad and here almost it was expected that almost 200 startups can take incubation at this particular area correct for so similarly ubi global they have ranked kerala startup mission that is world's number one public business incubator that means the startup mission of kerala is helping more startups in a better way so that they can grow correct so it was the sixth uba global world benchmark study for 21 22 this was released thus and this has released the second edition of the uba global world rankings of the business incubators and accelerators which ranked kerala startup mission as the world's top public private business incubator the honor for the same was jointly received by the secretary of electronics and it of kerala ratan u kurlekar ratan u kurlekar right so coming back remember which is the best startup or we can say it was ubi global that trend kerala startup mission as the world's number one public business incubator if we talk about ubi global who is the ceo and co-founder here ali amin headquarter is in stockholm sweden right next next is mou signed for two community development projects in nepal under the government of india grant assistance i repeat recently the embassy of india in Kathmandu, nepal and the ministry of federal affairs and general administration of the government of nepal they have signed mous for undertaking two high impact community development projects in nepal under the grant assistance of the indian government i repeat it is embassy of india and nepal's ministry of federal and general administration they signed mou for undertaking two high impact community development projects in the nepal itself right the two projects are construction of malagri shanti yogashram i repeat the two projects one of them is malagri shanti yogashram and second is your kedar jyoti punja multiple campus that is in also nepal the two projects one each in healthcare and education sector they will be developed at a total cost of approximately 80.33 million nepali rupees right the construction of the two project basically aims at providing better healthcare and better education facilities for the local community of nepal correct who is the prime minister of nepal 
Pushpa Kamla Dehal ji is the current Prime Minister of Nepal. Kathmandu is the capital of Nepal. Correct. Next here you can see the construction of these two projects aims at providing better healthcare and education facility for the local community. Moving on. Credit card spend in forex to come under the LRS and will be taxed at dash percent if the transaction for the whole year is greater than 7 lakh rupees. This is also important friends that if you are going abroad and if you are using your credit card so under the RBI's LRS that is liberalized remittance scheme a tax will be subjected to be collected at source with effect from 1st of July. Remember this date also. This will be applicable from 1st of July. That means if you are going to different parts of the world in different countries and you are spending their money using your credit card. So a tax will be applicable there now. What is the amount of tax? It is your 20% tax will be applicable. And this tax will be applicable if you are spending more than 7 lakh rupees. So you have to remember this also. Correct. So in consultation with RBI, Ministry of Finance omitted Rule 7 of the Foreign Exchange Management Rules under FEMA that is Foreign Exchange Management Act and included the international credit card spending outside India under liberalized remittance scheme and also subjected to a higher rate of 20% tax collected at source effective from 1st of July, right? If we talk about RBI, Shakti Khan Das is the governor, four deputy governors are there, headquarters in Mumbai, Maharashtra and on 1st of April 1935, this was established. Moving on, IRDAI. And one more thing related to bank, you can remember 2000 rupee note will now be discontinued from 1st of September, right? So remember 2000 rupee note will be discontinued now. Next IRDAI, IRDAI relaxes the norms for shorty bonds to expand market for such products. I repeat IRDAI relaxes the norms for shorty bonds to expand market for such products. What we are talking about is what are the relaxations we are talking about here and what is this? See IRDI they have relaxed the norms for shorty bonds which protect parties in transaction financial losses due to a breach of contract or other types of non-performance. Here the solvency requirement was reduced from 1.875 to just 1.5 times the prescribed amount providing insurers more flexibility while ensuring the financial stability. The previous 30% exposure limit on each contract was underwritten by an insurer and was also removed. Correct? Then remember what is the main aim here for this? The main aim here is to expand the shorty insurance market by increasing the availability of such products to ensure insurers risk management flexibility. Then if we talk about IRDAI, who is the current chairperson Devashish Pandaji and the headquarters is in Hyderabad, Telangana. Moving on, which organization in partnership with SBI cards and NPCI launched a co-branded rupee credit card? I repeat, which organization in partnership with SBI card they have launched, uh, which uh, organization in partner with SBI cards along with National Payment Corporation of India, they have launched a co-branded credit card and it is your Paytm. Paytm along with these two organizations launched a co-branded rupee credit card and the card was named as Paytm SBI card, right? This was launched on which network? It was launched on rupee network and the major objective here is to improve the credit inclusion in India and make credit cards more accessible to young and digitally evolved customers. The card enables customers to make UPI that is your unified payment interface by scanning the QR codes.
करेक्ट द को ब्रांडेड क्रेडिट कार्ड ऑफर्स पेटीएम फर्स्ट मेंबरशिप वर्थ सेवन फिफ्टी रुपीज अलॉन्ग विद न्यूमरस ऑफरिंग ऑल्सो सो इट इज योर पेटीएम अलॉन्ग विद एस बी आई कार्ड एंड एन पी सी आई लॉन्च दिस पेटीएम एस बी आई कार्ड दैट इज अ को ब्रांडेड रूपे क्रेडिट कार्ड नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज जे सी बी इंटरनेशनल पार्टनर विद एन पी सी आई टू ऑफर फोर्टी परसेंट कैश बैक फॉर रूपे जे सी बी कार्ड होल्डर्स इन स्टोर परचेजेस आई रिपीट इट इज योर जे सी बी इंटरनेशनल कॉपरेशन लिमिटेड दैट इज जापान इंटरनेशनल पेमेंट ब्रांड दे हैव पार्टनर्ड विद होम दे पार्टनर्ड विद एन पी सी आई दैट इज योर नेशनल पेमेंट कॉरपोरेशन ऑफ इंडिया टू ऑफर फोर्टी परसेंट कैश बैक टू रूपे जे सी बी कार्ड होल्डर्स ऑन इन स्टोर परचेजेज इन द यूनाइटेड अरब एमरेट्स थाईलैंड एंड मलेशिया एंड स्पेन एज वेल द ऑफर विल बी वैलिड फ्रॉम फिफ्टीन ऑफ मे टू फिफ्टीन ऑफ अगस्ट इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड द ऑफर इज द थर्ड फेज ऑफ द लिमिटेड टाइम स्पेशल कैश बैक ऑफर स्कीम दैट इज ऑफर्ड बाय जे सी बी दैट इज एन जापान इंटरनेशनल पेमेंट ब्रांड इन पार्टनरशिप विद रूपे आई रिपीट दिस जे सी बी टाइड अप विद एन पी सी आई दे आर ऑफरिंग फोर्टी परसेंट कैश बैक इन फोर कंट्रीज और इन स्टोर परचेज दैट इज यू ए थाईलैंड मलेशिया एंड स्पेन करेक्ट ऑल्सो रिमेंबर ड्यूरिंग द ऑफर पीरियड द कस्टमर यूजिंग अ रूपे जे सी बी कार्ड वुड रिसीव फोर्टी परसेंट कैश बैक ऑन दीज फोर इन दीज फोर कंट्रीज फॉर ऑन स्टोर परचेजेस राइट द मैक्सिमम कैश बैक अमाउंट पर ट्रांजेक्शन विल बी थ्री थाउजेंड रुपीज विद एन ओवरऑल कैप ऑफ फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड पर कार्ड ड्यूरिंग द ऑफर पीरियड इफ वी टॉक अबाउट एन पी सी आई दैट इज नेशनल पेमेंट कॉरपोरेशन ऑफ इंडिया इट वॉज इस्टेब्लिश इन टू थाउजेंड एटीन हेडक्वार्टर इज इन मुंबई महाराष्ट्र एंड हु इज द एम डी एंड सीईओ हेयर ही विल बी दिलीप एस पे मूविंग ऑन टू येस बैंक येस बैंक हैज लॉन्च येस पे इजी ऐप टू एनेबल मर्चेंट्स टू एक्सेप्ट डिजिटल पेमेंट ऑन स्मार्टफोन आई रिपीट येस बैंक पार्टनर्ड विद मास्टर कार्ड एंड वर्ल्ड लाइन इंडिया एंड लॉन्च येस पे इजी अ मोबाइल ऐप फॉर स्मॉल स्केल मर्चेंट्स टू एनेबल दैम टू एक्सेप्ट कार्ड एंड डिजिटल पेमेंट फ्रॉम देयर कस्टमर्स स्मार्टफोन येस पे इजी विल ट्रांसफॉर्म द कस्टमर्स स्मार्टफोन into a secure payment acceptance device and enable merchants to use their mobile phones as a point of sale terminal and accept remote payments also i repeat this it was yes bank they have partnered with mastercard and world line india and they have together launched what yes pay easy this is a mobile application for small scale merchants they will enable to them to accept card as well as digital payments from their customers smartphone also or uh, smartphone also right this smartphone or these mobile phones will be acting as a point of sale terminal and they will accept remote payments through this yes pay easy mobile application this will have a bharat qr code tap on for uh, tap on pay feature and sms pay also will be applicable here correct the merchants could share digital charge slips and generate reconciliation statements using this particular application and merchants could also track spending uh, also track pending payments and their send reminders using the apps khata feature which facilitates a digital recording of the pending payment and reminders so coming back if we talk about yes bank yes bank's md and chief executive officer is prashant kumar where is the headquarter it is in mumbai maharashtra when was it established in 2004 this was established and tagline for this particular yes bank is experience our expertise next next is icici lombard partnered with active.ai to introduce a revolutionary insurance solutions for smes smes are your 
small and mid size enterprise what is this active.ai it is an artificial intelligence platform that will be providing various models based on various research and data for this revolutionary insurance solutions for these smes right this will be in partnership with which two it is your icici lombard and they have partnered with active.ai so these two organization collaborated to introduce various revolutionary insurance solutions that will be based on the research and they will be developed by these models with the help of artificial intelligence for the small and mid size enterprises right so icici lombard general insurance company limited they have announced a strategic partnership with active.ai a singapore based enterprise saas now what is saas saas is a software as a service saas software as a service pass product as a service <coughs> right remember this so they will this is a saas that is software as a service platform that is embedded with business to business and buy now pay later and insurance to co-create comprehensive insurance offerings for the smes the entire supply chain ecosystem and compassing distributors retailers and suppliers also correct so these revolutionary insurance solutions for smes were launched by icici lombard general insurance in partnership with a software as a service platform that is singapore based that is active.ai with the help of artificial intelligence with the help of various models these new insurance solutions will be developed for smes the partnership was made to empower sustainable growth reduce the business foster growth and contribute to the overall economic development of the country right also remember icici lombard is the first in india to establish a digital platform specifically designed for SME, msmes to acquire the risk coverage correct next which airports new terminal project bags the international safety award so remember it is your trichy airports new terminal project that has bagged the international safety award this was presented to them by the british safety council in the first class merit category do remember this also i repeat it is your trichy international airport that has received the or that has been awarded with the international safety award by the british safety council in the first class merit category correct itd cementation india limited the company which has been engaged in the construction of the new terminal building of trichy international airport and this trichy international airport if question asked that it is located in which state it is located in tamil nadu correct and itd cementation india limited this is the company that has done the construction work of this new terminal building of trichy that is trichy international airport received or has been awarded with the international safety award correct next here only remember one more current affair that is two airports from karnataka have won the platinum rating in the acis in the acis green airport recognition i repeat two airports from karnataka they have received they have backed the platinum platinum category award in the airport council of india uh, airport council of internationals asia pacific green airport recognition for 2023 and they received this platinum category award for demonstrating the outstanding accomplishments in their sustainability project and which are these two projects it is your camp gowda international airport and second is mangaluru international airport correct next okay one more thing can you tell me the headquarter of this aci that is your airports council uh, international the headquarter of this is in montreal in canada and it was established in 1970 next next is saas montreal 2023 here kavitha lankesh gauri bags best long documentary award i repeat 
ड्यूरिंग द साफ मॉन्ट्रियल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री कविता लंकेश गौरी बेस्ट बैग द बेस्ट लॉन्ग डॉक्यूमेंट्री अवार्ड सो क्वेश्चन कैन बी आस्ट इन टू फॉर्मेट दैट बेस्ट लॉन्ग डॉक्यूमेंट्री अवार्ड वॉज प्रेजेंटेड टू विच डॉक्यूमेंट्री फॉर विच डॉक्यूमेंट्री इट वॉज गौरी करेक्ट इट वॉज प्रेजेंटेड ड्यूरिंग द ट्वेल्थ एडिशन of the south asian film festival that is saf montreal this was held in montreal in canada correct the film portrays the life of gauri lankesh who was assassinated in 2017 due to her criticism of right wing hindutva politics the documentary film gauri has been commissioned by press free press unlimited amsterdam netherland and gauri won the best human right film award at the toronto women's film festival in toronto ontario canada so coming back remember what is first of all tell me this saf montreal saf is your south asian film festival correct during this it was the 12th edition and during this which documentary has bagged the best long documentary award it is your gauri right and this is based on a journalist and an activist gauri lankesh who was directed this was directed by kavita lankesh and this has won the saf award for the best long documentary award next next is your appointments and resignation union cabinet has reshuffled and arjun ram meghwal ji has replaced kiran riju as the law minister and kiran riju ji assigned to earth science ministry i repeat who has been or who has replaced kiran riju as the law minister he is arjun uh, arjun ram meghwal ji right and now who has been given the charge of ministry of earth and of earth science kiran riju right just take a note of it next next is dsci that is your data security council of india has appointed pramod basin as the new chairman i repeat who has been appointed as the new chairman of dsci pramod basin correct he will uh, his term period has started from 1st of april 2023 and he has succeeded whom he will succeed rajendra as power the chairman and co-founder of niit group who has served as the chairman of dsci for a period of 3 years and what is dsci it stands for data security council of india correct pramod basin who has been appointed to the as the new chairman he is the founder of genpack limited and is currently the chairman of the indian council of research on international economic relations right dsci this data security council of india this is a not for profit industry body on data protection in india and it was established by nascom with a commitment towards making cyber safe safe or cyber space safe correct moving on next is acquisition and mergers cci has approved the merger of credit swiss group with ubs group i repeat recently competition commission of india has approved the ubs group uh, proposed the acquisition of the credit swiss group by a way of an absorption merger with ups being serving the legal entity next is science and technology indra installs naval version of the lanza 3d radar on the indian navy's destroyer i repeat recently indra systemas that is sa indra indra systemas sa indra madrid spain based it and defense system company and tata advanced systems limited that is tsl they have installed a naval version of the lanza n 3d on one of the indian navy's destroyer ship correct this is the first of the 23 radars that will be equipped in the indian naval ships and indra will deliver the radars to the indian navy by over the next decade correct the lanza radars will replace the existing radars or indian destroyers correct and the objective here is to enhance the maritime security efforts with the deployment of these lanza n 3d radars
करेक्ट दीज कटिंग एज रजार्ड सिस्टम ऑफर एडवांस सर्विलेंस कैपेबिलिटीज दे एनेबल नेवल वेसल्स टू इफेक्टिवली डिटेक्ट एंड ट्रैक बोथ सरफेस एज वेल एज एयर थ्रेड इन द रियल टाइम सो कमिंग बैक रिमेंबर रिमेंबर इंडियन नेवी वॉरशिप स्टार्ट गेटिंग द न्यू स्पेनिश लेंजा एंड रडार करेक्ट नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज हेयर यू कैन सी इट इज इंडियन नेवी एम्स टू एनहेंस देयर मेरीटाइम सिक्योरिटी एंड दीज कटिंग एज रडार सिस्टम ऑफर एडवांस सर्वेलेंस कैपेबिलिटीज मूविंग ऑन नेक्स्ट इज फॉर स्पेस एक्स स्पेस एक्स हैज लॉन्च ट्वेंटी टू सेकेंड जनरेशन स्टारलिंग सेटेलाइट टू ऑर्बिट आई रिपीट वी नो दैट स्टार Elon Musk is developing a Starlink company and Starlink is basically it is developing a constellation around the surface of the earth with small satellites that will be providing satellite uh satellite internet even in the remote areas so recently SpaceX launched a Falcon 9 rocket with 22 second generation V2 mini Starlink satellites in orbit which was lifted out from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida USA V2 mini a starlink satellites are larger and more capable than the first generation starlink craft that make up the vast majority of the mega constellation correct next next is some state news patch reporting app i repeat a patch reporting app was released and uttarakhand's chief minister has launched a mobile app to report the potholes i repeat this patch reporting app is a mobile application to report pot holes correct it was launched to question can be asked in such a way a pot reporting uh, a pot holes reporting application was launched by which state it was launched by uttarakhand correct what is the name of it it is patch reporting application to report the pot holes it will help in making the roads of the uttarakhand Pothole free. It was launched by the Chief Minister of Uttarakhand, that is Pushkar Singh Dhami. This app will enable the mobile phone users to record pictures of potholes and register their complaints with the Public Works Department authorities, seeking their repair by giving the relevant details. Next, next is Himachal Pradesh Unique Kangra Tea has registered for GI tag with the European Union. and this is an old news also remember question can be asked that what is the name of the tea from himachal pradesh that got the gi tag it is your kangra tea and now it is stating that the gi tag has been registered with european union that means now this kangra tea with this gi tag can now be sold in the european nation that is in the european market correct Kangra tea is known for quality, unique aroma and a tinge of fruity flavor. This recognition will benefit the growers of Palampur, Baijnath, Kangra and Dharamshala in Kangra district. Correct. So remember GI tag was given to Kangra tea of Himachal Pradesh and now they have also got the GI tag for the European Union that is for the access to the European market. Next Next is Odisha's Chief Minister Navin Patnaik launched a state dashboard and Chief Minister dashboard. I repeat, Navin Patnaik, Chief Minister of Odisha, launched state dashboard, a data and analytics powered platform which will streamline the performance monitoring of the government schemes by adding various decision making. That means, based on the dashboard, various decision making can be done. That how much product or how much process has been completed. how much more time will be required for the certain process which all process can be completed next or which are pending which is going well which is not going well all these can be monitored and based on that decision making can be done and for the same this state board and state dashboard and cm dashboard was launched by the chief minister of odisha navin patnaik correct so friends these were your important current affairs for the day now let's go for a quick revision pm modi laid the foundation stone and inaugurated railway projects worth over 8000 crore in odisha ministry of port shipping and waterways and assam signed an mou for a riverine based tourism circuit 
इसराइल इंडिया पार्टनर टू इस्टेब्लिश सेंटर फॉर वाटर टेक्नोलॉजी एट आई मद्रास यूनियन मिनिस्टर पुरुषोत्तम रूपाला लॉन्च सागर परिक्रमा यात्रा फेज फाइव यू बी आई ग्लोबल रैंक्स केरला स्टार्टअप मिशन एज द वर्ल्ड्स नंबर वन पब्लिक बिजनेस इंक्यूबेटर एम ओ यू साइंड फॉर टू कम्युनिटी डेवलपमेंट प्रोजेक्ट्स इन नेपाल अंडर द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया ग्रांट असिस्टेंस गवर्नमेंट इंक्लूडेड आई सी सी स्पेंडिंग आउटसाइड इंडिया अंडर द आर बी आई एल आर एस एंड लिविड अ ट्वेंटी परसेंट टैक्स ऑन द सेम विद अ ट्रांजेक्शन ऑफ मोर देन सेवन लैख रुपीज इन अ पर्टिकुलर ईयर आई आर डी आई रिलैक्स द नॉर्म्स फॉर शॉर्टी बॉन्ड्स टू एक्सपेंड मार्केट फॉर सच प्रोडक्ट्स पेटीएम इन पार्टनरशिप विद एस बी आई कार्ड एंड एन पी सी आई हैव लॉन्च अ को ब्रांडेड रुपे क्रेडिट कार्ड जे सी बी पार्टनर्ड विद एन पी सी आई टू ऑफर फोर्टी परसेंट कैश बैक फॉर रुपे जे सी बी कार्ड होल्डर्स इन फॉर इन स्टोर परचेजेज येस बैंक लॉन्च अ येस पे ईजी एप टू एनेबल मर्चेंट्स टू एक्सेप्ट डिजिटल पेमेंट्स ऑन देयर स्मार्टफोन्स नेक्स्ट आई सी आई सी आई लोमबार्ड पार्टनर्ड विद एक्टिव डॉट ए आई टू इंट्रोड्यूस रेवोल्यूशनरी इंश्योरेंस सोल्यूशन फॉर एस एम ईज त्रिची एयरपोर्ट्स न्यू टर्मिनल प्रोजेक्ट हैज बैक द इंटरनेशनल सेफ्टी अवार्ड साफ मॉन्ट्रियल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री ड्यूरिंग दिस कविथा लंकेश गौरी हैज बैक द बेस्ट लॉन्ग डॉक्यूमेंट्री अवार्ड यूनियन कैबिनेट हैज रिशफल्ड एंड अर्जुन राम मेघवाल हैज रिप्लेस्ड किरण रिजू एज द लॉ मिनिस्टर एंड किरण रिजू हैज बिन असाइन टू द अर्थ साइंस मिनिस्ट्री डी एस सी आई हैज अपॉइंटेड प्रमोद भसीन एज द न्यू चेयरमैन सी सी आई हैज अप्रूव द मर्जर ऑफ क्रेडिट स्विस ग्रुप विद द यू पी एस ग्रुप इंदिरा इंस्टॉल्स द नेवल वर्जन ऑफ द लेंजा थ्री डी रडार ऑन इंडियन नेवीज डिस्ट्रॉयर करेक्ट नेक्स्ट स्पेस एक्स हैव लॉन्च ट्वेंटी टू सेटेलाइट ऑफ सेकेंड जनरेशन स्टारलिंग सेटेलाइट इन टू ऑर्बिट फॉर कंप्लीटिंग द कॉन्स्टलेशन पैच रिपोर्टिंग ऐप दैट इज लॉन्च बाय उत्तराखंड चीफ मिनिस्टर एंड दिस पैच रिपोर्टिंग ऐप इज बेसिकली टू रिपोर्ट द पॉट होल्स इन द स्टेट हिमाचल प्रदेश यूनिक कंगड़ा टी रजिस्टर्ड फॉर द जी आई टैग विद यूरोपियन यूनियन ओडिशा चीफ मिनिस्टर नवीन पटनायक लॉन्च द स्टेट डैशबोर्ड एंड सी एम डैशबोर्ड सो दीज आर सम इम्पॉर्टेंट करंट अफेयर फॉर द डे फ्रेंड्स नाउ लेट्स गो फॉर द रिविजन पार्ट International Museum Day is observed on 18th of May with the theme Museum Sustainability and Well-being. Second is UGC University Grant Commission has launched two new portals. This is your Utsa portal. Let me correct here. Yesterday it is we said that it was Utash portal. No, it is Utsa portal, right? So do correct it. Utsa portal as well as a pop was launched here. That is profess for hiring higher quality and educated professors. and to track the implementation of nep utsa was launched next who has been appointed as the new upsc chairman he will be manoj soni as you can see him in the picture next n chandrashekharan tata sons chairman has been conferred with the highest french award that is the knight of the legion honor next rbi has given the nod to sbi fml to acquire 9.9% 9.99% stake in the hdfc bank next sp hinduja a uk based billionaire businessman and chairman of hinduja group has recently passed away so these were your important revision part friends now time for your homework first which is the first indian city to adopt the localization of the un mandate sustainable development goals next e retrofitment which was seen in news is associated with which field third which cyclone has hit myanmar and is one of the strongest storms to hit the region this century so these are your three homework questions friends i hope you have understood the assignment all you have to do now is like the video and comment below and let us know what are your views for the same if you find the session interesting and you learn multiple things from the session then do like and comment as this will motivate me to work better for you and make better content for you on the daily basis So that's all for the day friends thank you and have a nice day that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the youtube channel as well as apart from youtube channel you can go and follow us at affairs cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the 
of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 7677333862 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support@affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue